Hi stamping friends, welcome back to another video in the November card class by Sharon Armstrong. This video is going to show you some tips on how to use the stamp set Wondrous Wreath in different ways, not just as a wreath and not just for Christmas. All right, so one of the tips I wanna show you is in the Wondrous Wreath stamp set, There are, a, there's a bow and some other pieces in there, okay? So in the framelets, there is actually some words. One is Noel and one is Joy, okay? So I wanted to show you how, um, it, a little trick, when you're using any of the framelets that are words, if you'll take a piece of wax paper, and this is just from the kitchen, Lay it down on top of your cardstock first, then place your verbiage framelits on there. And if you'll notice, I have the bow on there too. I've already cut one out so I can show you something fun. And so here's the other bow. So now I'm gonna cut these out. Set this aside. Okay, so pop this out because we're going to need that bow. And then the Noel, pop it off. And you kind of have to play with it a little bit. But if it doesn't come out easily, you can use a paper piercer and just release the words, that's what these little holes are for. Just don't poke your finger, because it will hurt. Okay, so now we have our Noel. It comes out a little bit easier. Um, if you don't use the wax paper, you do have to futz with it a little bit. Um, it doesn't want to come out quite as easily. So I'm going to get my paper piercing mat because I don't want to poke my finger. Oh, that was from another video. <laughs> okay, so let's pop these centers out. So there's your trick, wax paper, okay? All right, so I've already cut out a wreath and I just did it in one color. Um, I didn't do the second layer of colors on there. I just did one color because I want to show you a really cool thing. So if I take my paper snips and I'm just going to cut this into quarters. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you're stressed about it being perfect, you can use a paper cutter. Go ahead and cut this into fourths. And now I'm going to put a really fun card together for you. I have a Whisper White card base ready. Now I prefer to use liquid Tombow glue and our silicone mats from Stampin' Up when I am putting together, or attaching rather, these little tiny words. So I'm gonna flip this over and just put some glue. Oh, and I see I missed a center of my words. Let me pop that out real quick. So I'm just gonna put some glue on there and just dot, dot, dot. And I'm not worried about it getting on my surface because it'll pop right off. It's so cool. I just, it's just really hard with these thin words. Okay, so let's attach this at the top. This is really a simple, easy card. Then you're gonna take your wreath pieces, and I think I wanna go ahead and use some dimensionals on the back. I'm just gonna put one on each one, each of the pieces, and I think for this one I only needed three of the pieces, but we'll, we'll play with it and see. Just 
take off my backs. And I'm just going to start over here and I'm going to hang off just a bit so that I can trim that if I want to. So that it's all lined up nice and flush with the card. And then I'm going to take this piece and I want to show you the bow is pretty wide. So if you take the bow and kind of hover over it, you can match up the next piece like that. This is going to be really cute. You just wait. So I do use all four of the pieces because I liked having it more matchy matchy on the edges. I liked it being more flush on the edges. So see how I'm just using my bow as a guide? Okay, then I'm going to take my snips, trim off the excess, And I don't really want my bow, no, I'll go ahead and put a dimensional on. I was gonna say I didn't want it to be too high, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now for the bow, go ahead and cut your snips of pieces off the edge of your dimensionals because you just don't need that big of a piece. Look how cute. It's using the wreath and it's not a wreath. And since I used three pieces, I need to go back and make another bow. So let's do that really quickly. I love the framelits because you can just use up all the scraps of your paper. Let's add this last bow. So cute. I'll never get that off of there. I cut it all the way. I'm going to put it down just a little bit. I like that even better. Okay, so there's one way to use your wreaths, and it's not a wreath. Another thing that you can do is make a card that is not a Christmas card, just depending on the colors. Now, if you'll notice, these little flowers are not the same flowers that came in your set. The ones that came in the stamp set look more like small poinsettias. I wanted a bigger flower, so I took the petite petals with matching punch and I just took my scraps we'll just use this really quick and I'm going to do this in a different color scheme I'm going to use tangerine tango and there's a lot of white space on your, as I showed you this on the first video, so there's a lot of white space, so you can just take and stamp some flowers and just use a variety of flowers. You don't have to use the same one. And let's use this little outline one. Now. I probably got too close to that. So do this, if you're gonna make this card, do this card after you do 
your um, wreaths. <laughs> so then I just punched them out. Just punched them all out. And then I just attached them to the card. Just decide how many you want. So I stamped my green leaf in the background and then I just added the flowers. Now, do you see the sparkly little rhinestones? So as you know, we use rhinestones all the time. Stampin' Up! has rhinestones, um, but they're clear. We also sell alcohol-based blendabilities and you can actually color on the rhinestones and make them a different color. Now, these are square, so um, you want to make sure that you hear a click. That way you know that the cap is on, okay? You don't want them to um, dry out. So then you just go underneath, and now my flower has a little yellow center instead of just a clear center. All right, so that's another way to use this stamp set. Let's put it together. Let me show you how, um, if you've been in any of my classes, uh, online classes, you know that I, uh, one month we did the uh, hardwood background. So I've already pre-stamped that. And I cut some pieces and I laid them down on my stamp and stamped them. Just a little refresher as to how you do that. I want to take some ink and my sponge. And I just want to sponge the edges. I'm using soft suede if you need to know that. You could use any of the browns that you may have just to give it a little bit of a worn look. Another way to give it a worn look is to take the blender pens, take one of them, and just give this a little worn look just by coloring. Just kind of lightens the whole thing. I'm not doing the whole thing. I want this to look a little weathered like it would on the door. And take my door and I'm going to do the same thing. I hope the video shows you how this is looking. My husband has been making my headboard and I'm so excited because it looks just like this. Kind of cool. Okay, so I've given that a little worn look. And now I want to attach my pieces. And I'm just gonna use snail. I don't have to have it raised. But let's see, I wanna do this. I could raise it to, with dimensionals, but I'm just gonna do it this way. My wreath is gonna go on the door. And when I mailed this card to my daughter, I actually had to wrap it like a present because with me putting the, um, and then I have a little doorknob here, and we'll just go ahead and put a little bit of snail on. There's our doorknob. Okay, so now I have my antique looking door, and now I want to add one of the wreaths that I did, and notice I did this one more in, um, this is rose red. And we're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back. I hope you enjoy these bonus 
options to use your stamp set. Now really, on an earlier video I said I only like to use three. I just do a triangle, um, but on that video I didn't quite line it up right, so I had to add four. But three is really sufficient. You don't have to do more than that. Okay. How cute is that? All right. So I hope you enjoyed these three extra bonuses for this month's um, online Christmas card class, even though those were not necessarily Christmas cards. Um, come back for the next video.